on. We'll take it. Let's see if we can go live on all these. Okay, there we go. All right, get there. Okay, good to go there. I guess we'll just let it sit for a while. All right. So. I need another monitor. All right, there we go. Let's get started, see how this turns out. Oh, I should probably tweet this, yes? Um, probably should, let's see here. Tweet, go to Twitter. Yeah, we'll go there. Close this. Here, we'll go there. All right, so we're gonna treat this like a like a boot. There we go. Because I sort of have this idea of what I want, and we may do some more sort of like smaller stuff in here. I don't know yet. I, I know I want to take this. I sort of want to do something like this. Ungroup. Flip. And then I'm thinking what I want to do is like play around with some of the Uh, that just looks like. Hmm. I wonder, can we do something like this? I mean, that works, right? I guess what we could do is kind of go like this. And then we could just hand draw another one over here, so it'd be sort of like a piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll do it sort of like this. Okay, cool. Good enough. Yeah, good enough. And then what we'll do is we'll group all this together. And then we'll... I think we'll treat it sort of like this, is how I want to sort of do it. And then if we had any more design to the to the boot, we could do it. It'll be easy enough. Let's go here. Sort of like this. Oh yeah, I like that better. That's got a good look to it. Yep, I like that a lot better actually. Um, how did I do that? So here, sort of bend it. Yep. And then like this. Nice, nice, nice. We can just make it smaller. Fantastic. So kind of go here with it, make it look like it's sort of standoff. Yeah, I like that. So we'll group these, we'll leave that. Now, what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna sort of treat this like a, some sort of mech. I don't know if I wanna do humanoid or if I want it to be straight robotic yet. Um, I'm sort of feeling robot. So why don't we play around with that? Why don't we just go ahead and do a robot?
since it's sort of what I'm, I'm already sort of vibing, let's just do it. Uh, so we'll go here like this. Take the size on. Hey, DW, how you doing, buddy? Uh, my freaking alert didn't work again. Give me a second. I don't know what's up with that lately. That's really... Thanks for the host, buddy. Sorry about that. I I don't know what's going on with those lately. I think I'm going to have to completely remove them and just rebuild them or something. Seems like they're constantly not wanting to work all the time now. I'll do it one of these days. I think we'll kind of go here like this. Yeah. Let's do a sort of a center. Kind of go like this. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We're going to do this whole thing sort of organically and see kind of how it turns out um and i sort of have a, a vision for this but not really if that makes sense like i have an idea of what i want to do but i don't really know what i want to do if that make i don't know how that even makes sense but yeah it makes sense i sort of had a I, I wanted to draw some robot today that's all i really know like i really wanted to draw some robots so that's what we're gonna do mess around with it And I want to do this in a unique way to make it sort of look like he's flying. And I dabbled with the fact of making these humanoid, but then I felt like, nah, we want to do a straight robot. Maybe we'll, if we like this, maybe we'll take it and we'll do a little more with it in terms of making it more like maybe an Iron Man-ish type of thing or something. But for now, we're going to go with uh, robot. All right, so let's cut this out. And what this is going to do is sort of make that almost like a... Two-way sort of bone looking, almost like a metallic leg in a way, right? So what we'll do is this one will sort of come like this. And we're going to change the color for right now. I don't really know how I want to do depth yet. I'm assuming these circles would be in the... Yeah, that makes the most sense. We're going to have them in the front. Like this. All right. And then we'll shade this. We'll do some stuff with it. And then this will be the secondary part of the leg. So sort of like this. Which means this one's going to come up. We're just sort of... We're just messing around tonight, folks. Had some ideas on drawing robots. And that's kind of what's stuck in my brain today. Robots. Here we go. But that's not going to work for a color because obviously I don't like it. I thought I would like the way this leg looked, but I'm honestly, hey, water bottle, how you doing? How is your day going? Doing good. Good to see you. Not bad. How about you? Pretty good. I've been a good one so far. I was sort of in the mood to draw some robots, so we're going to attempt. I used to draw a lot of them. Um, not so much anymore. Hey, Chloe, hey, Changeling, how y'all doing? How is everyone this evening? Hope everyone's had a great day. You have to pardon me while I sort of make sense of this in my head. I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. I think we'll go with the dark for that, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I was doing that actually with my cat. 
he was uh he was wanting some attention so we were doing that before i went live something like that right i, I don't know i i, I uh I've, I've sort of been in the mood to draw robots lately so i sort of wanted to dedicate it tonight to that and this was sort of the first thing that came to mind was this sort of a floaty robot and i, I i'm almost going with like an iron man sort of feel to this because I want him to have the, like, sort of shooting himself backwards. Like, maybe shooting something out of his hand or something. Almost like an Iron Man-ish sort of, like, laser blast or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just having some fun this morning. Or tonight. You know, playing around. Hey, Fraud. Thank you for that lemon. Over there in the D-Live. Thank you. Now, I don't know if I like these legs or not. Y'all have to bear with me a minute. This morning. Look. Water bottle. I am tired. Tired, tired, tired. So you'll have to give me the give me the pardons. I want to do something like this. I don't know if I'm sold on those legs yet, and I want to have him sort of blowing himself back. So I want to have somehow or another. I want to have a hand right here. I don't know how we're gonna do this yet. How you doing today, Frog? You doing well? So I finally have a good template, guys, that allows me to make YouTube videos in a pretty quick manner. I'm pretty happy with that. What I did was I built an actual template file, so once I've captured the, the video input, then all I gotta do is go and um, get it get it in, and it working pretty well. Like, I've been able to do three or four YouTube videos in the last, last couple days, so it's, it feels good. It feels good all the way around. All right, now how in the world do I want this to look? I guess we'll do this here as well. We're just laying down basic shapes right now, folks. Give me a bit and we'll we'll get into some shading and some detail. I've really been wanting to draw like robots, so that's what we're doing. His legs feel awfully skinny at the moment. Maybe we should do... Let's copy this over. Hope everyone's having a good night. Oh, boy, how do I want to do with the fingers? We got a new follower. Captain Rock, thank you for that follow over there. I appreciate that. How are you? Thank you for that follow. Hope you're having a fantastic evening. If you have any questions for me, be sure to let me know. We, uh, we do a lot of vector art and pixel art and things like that in here, and, uh, I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. And so I've had I've had images of robots stuck in my head all day. So I figured, you know what? There's no better way to deal with that than draw some robots, right? So that's what we're doing. We're gonna draw some robots. And right now we're just laying down the preliminary. I sort of I almost want like a We got a host. Welcome everyone. Well, you know what it probably had to do with folks? I was playing Anthem the other day. That's probably why I'm doing some sort of a floating uh, mechanism, right? Pixel, thank you for the host, buddy. How are you? Good to see you. I doubt we're going to use this as the final for the arm, but we're going to roll with it for now just to get the, the staging correct. And then I'll probably redo the arms or something on how I want. And I want to add some, like... Me too, water bottle. You should have seen trying to go live tonight. That was interesting. Thank you, Pixels. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. Did you ever get your computer stuff fixed, man, the other night? I knew you were kind of bummed about that. Um, yeah, Water Bottle, it's been interesting going live. Like, a lot of the, the, it just seems to be really laggy. They really have. They have, Captain. Yep. It's been, been a little rough. Been a little rough. Been a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. 
Hopefully we have a good night, though. I feel like we're going to. So, in case anyone is wondering, we are restreaming. So, we're currently on Mixer, DLive, and YouTube. Uh, there's several reasons for that. Uh, I want to start growing on those other platforms as well. So, you guys may see some notifications from DLive, some notifications from YouTube. I'm testing the water here, just trying to see what we can do. And I'm trying to build my YouTube content because I'm getting back into YouTube tutorials and whatnot. So, I'm really trying to build my content over there. And so the way I look at it is my live streams basically turn into a long video and they've actually been getting some views. So apparently people do enjoy going back and watching the art live stream. So just to, so if everyone's good on that, yeah, I think so, Cap. I mean, you know, I'm not really into playing a lot of games on stream. So my content or my content is generally art, right? And so I'm trying to grow that audience as best I can. And uh, yeah, it's good stuff. I don't like these we need to do something else for legs dead bird how you doing dude good to see you man i thought you would have been asleep thanks for the host dude not a lot of time to do it captain i so i'll, I'll tell you the i'll tell you the ship there captain i used to play a lot of games and i rarely play games anymore at all because most of my time is either taken up with commissions or just me playing with side projects doing art that's not a bad thing, though, because I love it, and it's something that I really enjoy doing, and I really enjoy sharing with the community. You know what I mean? So, I, I get what you're saying. Time is of the essence. So, thank you, Water Bottles, for the shout-out. Guys, if you're not following Deadbird, please do. Um, he is another content creator here. He's a, he's a creative content creator. Great person. Pixels get me. Another creator here. Captain, another creator. If you guys uh, have any questions, let us know. Let us know. Yeah. Hey, Radioactive, how you doing, buddy? Thank Shadow Fox, lemon. thank you for the ice creams and the lemon, dude. Um, I appreciate you. You guys over there on D-Live, thank you, thank you. Ice cream. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Seven. Thank you for the host. We need a shout-out for Mr. Seven as well. Thank Thanks, Dad. We're playing around with it, dude. I've sort of had robots stuck in the brain all day. You thank know what I mean? So we're going to... We're going to draw some robots tonight. And I don't know what we're going to get out of it, but we're going to do it. And we're going to have fun with it. That's really where we're going with this. Guys, if you're not following Seven, another creator here, definitely worth your follow. And Shadow, thank you for the ice cream. Thanks for the lemons, man. Started a pizza on Vector Art today. Radio, cool, dude. I want to see it, man. I mean, if if you want to share it, Radioactive, I'd love to see it. Shadow Fox, thank you for the host over there on DLive, man. I appreciate that, bud. You guys are fantastic. So if you guys can't tell yet, and for anyone who is new here, um, I don't normally sketch, right? So my drawings just sort of happen. They just, they're organic, you know? And, um, so you're going to see a lot of sort of moving things around. My drawings start very simple. And then once we have the shapes in, we build up the detail and the shading and everything. So in case you're wondering what the heck I'm doing here, I'm not a crazy man. And, uh, you'll see my slideshow over there in the corner. So if you guys have any questions regarding anything over there, let me know. Uh, but yeah, thanks for being here tonight, folks. I really do appreciate it. Let's do some stuff like this. I got a better idea how we're going to do these legs. I don't know why. I've just... Re yeah, no, I do know why. I'm lying here. I played Anthem this weekend, for anyone who hasn't. And apparently playing Anthem has really made me want to draw flying mechanical things. That must be what it is. That's the only thing I can think of. So, Captain, this is Affinity Designer. This is a... Um, yeah, no problem. I don't mind explaining it. It's, it's a vector-based drawing application, very similar to, like, Illustrator. Great piece of software. Radioactive. Cool, dude. Yeah, if you want to send in a DM, that'd be great. I'd love to see it. You got I have Affinity Photo as well. Um, I don't use Affinity Photo as much, but I'm a massive fan of the Serif company. Uh, I really like what they're doing. I really like the direction they're going. So, you know what? I figured one day I want to get into more photo manipulation and stuff like that. So I figured if I'm going to own designer, I might as well own photo, especially for the price. Um, just like when they release publisher, I'll buy that as well. And I'm actually using publisher though, to compile a book. Uh, I'll show you guys that a little bit later. We're actually working on a book currently, a children's book. And, um, I'll, I'll give you guys a glimpse at that here in a bit after we do some robot stuff. Yeah. I like the way that looks almost just like a piston or something, right? And we will do some shading. Let's grab the old pen tool and see if we can't do a more interesting kneecap looking thing. 
rather than just shapes. Sort of going with like Tin Man for inspiration on this. In the back of my head here. See how this looks. To the back. So you do some photo stuff then, Kevin, or are you trying to get into more like graphic design stuff? Okay, cool. I like it. And we'll do some shapes and we'll do some manipulations here and we'll add some small details. That'll look really cool though. Okay, I like that. We're gonna do this like kick back a bit more. But we're gonna get rid of this crap. I thought I would like that and I'm not digging it. Out of here, out of here. And if anybody, that's one little thing I forgot to mention here real quick. If anyone has questions, what I'm doing or how I'm doing it, feel free to ask. Uh, we welcome questions here. We don't mind trying to help educate. So if there's something you want to know, just feel free to, whether it be the softwares I'm using, the techniques, whatever the case may be. Photo manipulation. What does designer do differently? So, okay, the big difference there, Captain, is going to be vector. If you don't know anything about vector, let me give you a really good example of this. I'll open up an old drawing here. I like to sort of, uh, that's a good question. Because people that don't know what vector is, they tend to not understand how or why it works. So here's a little character design we did. We did this little sort of fantasy guy, right? <clears throat> it is. It is. So vector basically is, you can manipulate it. And you can scale it and everything, right? But the thing with Vector is, is it's super clean art. Uh, like Dead Bird, he's actually starting to experiment with it more as well. And, you know, it's one of those things, when you start doing Vector, you really realize just how clean and precise it is, right? But why it's so nice is it's so easily scalable. So, like, for example, this is a 1080 by 1080 pixel image right here, right? If I make a copy of this little guy, we can just make him as big or small as we want without quality loss. You see this? So he's all the way down to 7 by 11 pixels right now. So it's very easily rescalable. So, I mean, so now you look at this is the same guy at five by eight pixels, okay? Literally five by eight pixels. And if we zoom out, there's the original. See that? And no quality loss. And the thing with Vector is the finished products typically look very, very clean. They're very precise edges, just super sharp imagery. Um, and that's what Vector does well. Um, not to say you can't do things that look a little more uh stylized or like you know particle looking you can but it's just at the root of it it's really about clean and looking really really sharp i'll show you guys something i was working on the other day i was actually doing this on d live uh we were messing around with it and some folks were over there so you guys saw this first scene i did right we did this scene here in fact i need to get rid of this crap these are assets we didn't use so I'm doing some studies this year, and this was the first scene study I did because I don't do scenes that much, and I really want to get into scenes, okay? And so this was the first scene study we did, and this one's very clear, very, uh, it, it's very distinct, right? So I started this one because I wanted to do a second one, but I had a little bit different idea for this one. And so we're not done yet, but just so you guys can sort of see where we're going with this, is I'm making a forest here, and I've got more details and more shading and stuff to do. And then I want to give the effect of like a city in the background, like a smoggy, cloudy sort of city. So you can see again where it allows you to make really clean sort of um, sharp images, right? So it, it, um, it's good stuff. It's, I love vector art. It's it become my, my personal favorite for art. Yeah, I'll check it out, Radio, for sure, but for sure I'd love to see it. I know you were talking about it the other day when we were working on that scene. All right, so let's. So I want to do something here. We're gonna. Have some treats, Space Cat. Yeah, have some treats, Space Cat. Uh, those animations you're gonna see for Space Cat are all pixel art because I do pixel art as well. Uh, we made all those animations or a majority of them live on stream. Oh, this is gonna look cool, y'all. I'm starting to dig this. Yeah, right. I, I, um, they're 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 coming along, and and I'll tell you, Changeling, it's one of those things that, um, this year, if I were to have a New Year's resolution, it would be 
I, I just want to sort of push myself. You know what I mean? I want to learn more. I want to, I want to continue to grow as an artist. And one of the areas that I struggle is scenes. I don't do a lot of them. So it's something I'm trying to come to grips with. And the only way to get better at it is to do it, you know? So uh, naturally you just got to put yourself out there. And what better way to do it than live in front of other people? Because then you really get your vulnerabilities out. <laughs> but it's all right. I mean, you know, it, it helps you learn, which is really the goal. All right, cool. I like the way this is looking. So what I wanted for this image is I wanted to have him sort of with one hand out, doing almost a laser beam out of his hand, right? Like straight out and do some particle effects and stuff. And as his feet are sort of stabilizing him in the air, right? And then once we get that done, I figured we'd come back and do the detailing. What do you guys Thank think of that? For being so great and helpful. I think it sounds cool. We'll do like a... We'll do like a... Uh, like almost like an Iron Man pose in a way. That's the best way to sort of... Say it. Yeah, but those are the softwares I use. I also use a program called Gravit Designer. Uh, Captain, that is a free vector-based software. Uh, the reason we use that, I'll open it up real quick so you guys can see it, because we've got some new faces here that may or may not have seen this software. This is a free software that does offer a paid variation of it, right? Um, but what's cool is, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I've actually completed in it, and I always open up the same couple, but we made like this pirate in there. We made this guy. And these are vector art, just like what I'm doing right now. We made this stormtrooper in there. And we also made one of my favorite ones in here is this one, this girl riding the Vespa. I just think it's a cool image, right? But these were all made in this free software. So it just kind of showcases what you can do with this software. Cause even though it's free, it's still a pretty powerful piece of software. Um, Cause I think a lot of people, they hear the word free and they sort of, uh, they assume that maybe it's not a very good piece of software, which isn't true. I mean, it's got some, yeah, no thanks windows. It's got some really good features to it. If you get the chance, you might want to check that out. If you don't own Affinity or Illustrator or something like that. Me either. I gave up Adobe, Captain. I, I, uh, I'm done with it. Um, I, um, I am, I'm at the point where, you know what? I would rather relearn another piece of software, get good with it, support it, and promote that sort of community, then continue to play into that Adobe business model. I understand Adobe is still the industry standard, but I'm just, I'm done with it. I feel like they're they're just gonna continue to raise those prices. Continue and continue and continue until they get to the point that it's just gonna be crazy. I mean, you have so many good pieces of software now, like Clip Studio, Clip Studio is amazing. You know, I would, if I were doing digital painting and stuff, I would use Clip Studio over, over Photoshop any day of the week, personally. Um, you know, but I mean, there's so many good software solutions out there right now. I don't know why people are so stuck on that Adobe bandwagon. I, I don't know, but I get it. It is the industry standard and I have friends who still use it. You know, I just, nah, I'm done. I think Adobe being the, the premier, premier software, you know, is those days are dying and they're dying quickly. You give it another, I would say two to three years. You're going to see a major shift in that. Shadow, I agree 100%. Clip Studio is fabulous. I installed it the other day, by the way, and I was just playing with the brushes, and they are so smooth. I mean, it just works so well for what it does. Incredible. And, you know, I feel like Adobe, they don't have anybody to blame but themselves. You know what I mean? Because they consistently make products that are buggy and have issues. You know, and they consistently raise their prices and they force their own clientele away. So, I mean, they've got nobody to blame but themselves. For the way things are going, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm going to be doing more Clip Studio Shadow, for sure. I don't know how I want to do it. I think we'll have this hand sort of flame on. <clears throat> but I know what you mean, Captain. I, I would agree with you 100%. 
Because I actually charged up my Wacom tablet. Y'all won't believe it. Um, I actually charged it. And uh, I plan on using it very soon. Joint could be a ball. Yeah, I'm thinking a ball sort of like here, right? With the shoulder joints. Because I've done a lot of these in the past sort of like this. Watch this. We'll go in here. Yeah, and I don't know if anyone's ever done any sort of like publications, like book publications and whatnot. But um, Affinity is getting ready to release Affinity Publisher, which is going to be basically InDesign. They're going right after InDesign with that one. Which is a very big piece of software. If you don't know what InDesign is for, it's basically for like... Uh, publication production for like magazines, book spreads, uh, things like that. It's used for basically compiling edited and editorial type things like newspapers, magazines, so forth and so on. <clears throat> you use Corel Draw, yep. Oh god, I haven't Corel Draw. Wow, I haven't seen that one in a while. I don't know if you've seen. Uh, I'll open it real quick. But this is what Affinity Publisher is going to look like. It looks a lot like InDesign, right? It, um, it gives you the full page spread. You can do your bleeds, your insets. You can do all that. Um, and I'll show you the project I'm sort of working on. It is a kid's book. Let me get to it real quick. But it does your full page spreads. It lets you compile it so you've got your, you know, you've got your bindings and everything. And you've got everything in place. And it gives you all your pages here. You know, so it's a really good piece of software. I would definitely check it out at some point if you're interested in any sort of like creating publications i think it will really be a good thing <clears throat> hey candidates yeah yeah it's really cool captain uh and again it's going to be very affordable just like affinity photo and affinity designer so i'm getting into it radioactive i've never really done it so it's sort of new to me but we're getting into it because i've got some books i want to compile i've decided that i want to do some personal projects this year and one of them is going to be some sort of a comic. It's going to be some sort of a comic or some sort of a book. And I also want to do a coloring book. So we're, we're starting to sort of work on personal stuff. So yeah, got some ideas. How you doing tonight, Candace? I'm doing good. You know water bottle hit it, Ty. You know water bottle hit it. Print houses requirements for margin stuff. Right, and that's exactly what I did, Radioactive, because, like, I'll never forget the first time, Radio, I tried to do something like that, dude. And I was like, I, I didn't pay attention to that at first. Totally screwed me up. So now I've learned, yes. Whoever you're printing with or whoever you're going to be doing that with, make sure you pay attention to margin. Make sure, yes, absolutely. Yeah, so I heard Clip Studio, you can do like, uh, you can do the whole comic layout and everything, right, Shadow? Guys, Ty, if you're not following Tyrandis, he is an awesome, awesome, awesome content creator here. He does music and super, super nice guy. Um, well worth your follow. So I would recommend if you are not following Ty, you probably should be. Because I think you will enjoy it. Good, good stuff. Yeah, I learned that lesson, Radio. I, I actually did a project once. I just scrapped the whole project, man. Because it, the whole thing, the formatting was all wrong. And I just sort of redid it, you know? It also lets you make frames which auto mask and set everything up. No way! Is there like... Is that intuitive, Shadow? Or is, it, or is there like a guide for that somewhere? Because I would actually be really curious at looking at that. Because I've got some ideas on some stuff I want to do. Or is it intuitive enough to, intuitive that you can just sort of figure it out? I want to look at that. I need to look at that, I should say. Yeah, super easy. Alright, cool. I might look at that tonight when I get done with the stream, then. Alright, guys. So let's play around with this. <clears throat> so in case anyone's wondering, we're making a robot. 
And when we get done with the robot, we're going to continue doing some, uh, we're going to continue doing some, uh, of the book that we're working on. There's a few of us in D Live Creative who use if you have any Okay, we'll do Shadow. Awesome. Yeah, Radio C, and I want to get into that, right? But I'm I'm sort of doing baby steps because I really don't know a lot about it. So has anyone played the anthem? The anthem uh demo, beta, whatever they're calling it. Has anyone played it? Sure is. I did. Hey, Phoenix. Thanks for the host, buddy. I have. What did y'all think? I played it as well. I'm curious what you guys think. In all seriousness. Because I want to hear some other opinions on it. Because I know what mine is. Love it or hate it, I don't care. I'm not judging. I just want to know what other people think. Have some treats, space cat. It's a lot of fun. Minus the freezing, getting kicked to the dashboard. Okay. How you doing tonight, Phoenix? Yeah, I might be hitting you up on that stuff, Shadow. Because I definitely want to get more into Clip Studio for sure. So, I played it. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't see anything revolutionary about it. I think that it, um, I think the game is okay. You like that one, right, Ty? That was good fun. I would agree 100%, Captain. The free roam area is probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. One of, one of the worst things I've ever seen. It just didn't... What was? It didn't have a real feeling to it. Um, I think it's an okay game. I think they've got some work to do. I think if they release it in the state that it's in now... Uh, good luck. That's all I can say. That game will be... That game will be 30 bucks in two weeks. If they release it like that. I don't... You know... Ooh, we got no snow here, guys. It's like we're still in the 60s and stuff down here. It's coming out in like two weeks, Candace. Or three weeks. I I mean, I know it's a demo. I get it. I know. I know how that works. But I just, I, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. 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 That's one I'll be waiting on, man. I'll be waiting on it. And what I'll do is sit back, let the I'm gonna let the game release. I'm gonna wait what people say, and I have a feeling, a suspicion that it's gonna go cheap quick. I just I I just know it's gonna happen. Right. Uh me too, Shadow. Hundred percent. Like I'm I'm just I don't feel confident about it. No, I will not pay full price for that. No way. There was nothing there that I would rather play Destiny 2, and that's being hundred percent honest. I think Destiny 2 has uh more solid content right now. Granted, I know Destiny 2 has been out a while, but I feel like Destiny 2 has more solid content than than Anthem will. Yeah, it, okay, Dead, I would agree. It has its flaws, but I don't feel like Anthem does anything revolutionary. Did anyone swim? Did anyone actually swim in an Anthem? Anthem made that made me sick. That made me feel sick. Seriously. I didn't like it at all. How did you do that dark purple thing for the laser mask and stuff so quick? Okay, so let me show you here, Radio. Oh, don't watch, Candace. The swimming visibly, it literally made my stomach hurt. It's bad. Yes, 100%, Ty. Okay, so here's what I do. Check this out, Radio. So the way I do my stuff, I'm going to show you a couple really cool tricks here. For anyone that's curious about Affinity, watch this. Because this is really, this is crucial information right here. This is good stuff. So I do basically child to parent relationships and I do it in a way that it's quick for me. Now Bundy has left Activision with the Destiny license. I agree 100% Shadow. Okay, so what I do is I do basically paste inside radio, all right? So let's say I have another shape over here and it's yellow. So what I do is I'll cut it with Control X. 
I'll choose the object I want it in and then hit control alt V. And what it does is it instantly makes it a child to that parent shape, right? Which is very, very cool and it's very quick. Now here's the other cool part about that. Now I can go in, I can select that shape, I can resize it, I can move it around, whatever. It stays a child to that parent. If I resize the parent, the child resizes with it, right? Well, here's where it gets even better. If I select this, I'm going to get the parent. But if I hold control and select that shape, I get just the child, all right? Then I can still change the colors of it. I can still do manipulations on it like this, right? It treats it like its own shape inside of a shape, okay? Now, here's where it gets even cooler. We take this shape and we copy it in here and make it different colors, all right? So we'll go here and here and here, right? So now you can see where this basically, it allows you to make instant mask without having to do a mask. You don't have to go and physically create a mask. You can just paste inside and rock and roll. And those images are still usable, still changeable, still manipulated, right? You can still work with them, which is awesome. Um, the other thing that's really cool here is, um, again, I can control click any one of them I want, resize, you know, duplicate, whatever you want to do. Very useful. Yeah, absolutely, Radio. That's the way I work, and I'm going to tell you right now, if you learn those tricks right there, it will increase your productivity tenfold. Like, when I figured that out, I was like, oh, let me show you guys another cool trick there. Yeah, check this out, Deadbird. Watch this, Radio. This is really cool right here. Hey, Colored, how you doing over there, buddy? So watch this. This is another really, really, really handy trick that I learned just the other day, as a matter of fact. And these are the tricks you get through using something, right? You only learn these over time. Good to see y'all, man. So watch this. Let's say I wanted to make another shape inside of this parent, okay? Instead of making another circle, giving it a color, cutting it, and pasting inside of it, watch this. If I select the original blue child inside of that parent with control and go and make a new shape, it'll make it on top of that as a child inside of the parent for me. Did you get that? That's cool as anything. I'm going to tell you right now because that is super, super useful because that, again, you don't have to cut and paste inside anymore. You can literally take this and make this right inside of it, change the color and drag it. There you go. You're working within that shape automatically just from selecting that shape because the way that affinity works is if you have an item selected it, and you make a new shape, um, you can basically, if you make a new shape with a shape selected, it will make it on top. You know what I mean? And so it doesn't matter if it's a child or not. Very useful. Yeah. You'll love those features right there, Deadbird. No kidding, man. Can you treat? Yes, you can, Radio. Yep, we can get into some full-on Inception stuff here. So watch this. Okay, so it's now a child to the parent. We'll copy this. We'll make it red. We'll cut it. We'll select this, hold on, and then we'll paste inside of it, and then we'll copy this over, and we'll make it green, we'll cut it, and we'll paste inside it. You see that? Child to the parent to the parent, and you can just you can just keep doing this. You can go all the way in, you know? And then, of course, you could take this green one, and you could copy it, and you could make one over here, and you could resize it. You could still treat it just like a shape. Look at this. You can still do math in there as well. So you could come in there and cut it like this. You could still make a shape within a shape. You see? It is. It is amazing. <clears throat> super super useful. Those are the tricks, though, right? That you learn through use. And when you learn those, man, your productivity just skyrockets. Part of what I tell people, when you um, when you, when you you use a piece of software, you got to dig. You got to dig and you got to learn. Because only when you learn a piece of software do you really, really begin to appreciate it. And that could not be any clearer here. Yeah, if you guys ever have any specific questions, and I can help you, I'll be glad to. I'm by no means an expert, but I, uh, I've used this software for quite a while now, so I've, I've really gotten a handle on a lot of the nuances that it has and a lot of the features that it has. And it sort of has allowed me to really work quickly. Very quickly. So we're going to kind of put this there like the thumb is sort of off the hand, sort of like this. Hey, Mixer Chill Zone, thank you for that host. Appreciate that. 
We're going to do more with these, I promise. These are just sort of the first step. What are we making today? So, I've, I've, I was playing Anthem. <laughs> we were actually just talking about Anthem. And I guess it has made me want to draw some flying robots or something. I, I don't know. So, we are creating some sort of a flying robot, but I'm going sort of Iron Man with it. Because what's replaying in my head is I want him to be doing sort of this laser blast out of his hand, you know? And I want his feet to sort of be propelling him, you know what I mean? Keeping him from blowing himself back kind of thing, right? Good to see everybody, man. I appreciate all the support tonight, guys. You guys are awesome. We'll do three sets of fingers, so we'll kind of go like this, I think. Yeah, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Well, that hand looks cool, right? I like it. The fingers are a little too big, but I think the overall shape and the color stepping looks incredible. Looks really good. And then we got this sort of a thumb here, right? Looks good. Like, you get it. It's a definitely in an action pose. <clears throat> I'm trying to think if I had any issues. Yeah, man. They've got a really big update coming, too. Um, they're going to be making some big changes to the way vector points work. Because they've got a new system that's going to be put in place that is going to be pretty incredible. I'm really excited about it. You can't tell I'm a big fan of the software. <laughs> I use it daily. I don't like that. Well, let's do this. Let's do like a... Um, do this. We'll do like 20% and send it back. Almost like a glow. Like it's glowing on the whole hand. And actually, we'll do a glow on the hand itself, I think, is what we'll do. Yeah, that sounds cool. We'll kind of go like this. It's sort of an over shape. Like it. Yep. And then what we'll do is we'll put sort of these white bands through the laser. Just sort of give it a glare, if you will. It would be, but I want to try something first. I want to see if we can do this. I want to try something, I should say. Well, thank you, Colored. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're, you know, again, I say this a lot, but it's true. I don't really sketch. Um, I'm getting better about sketching. I am trying to do some more sketching here and there. Like, I did a sketch today and um, with my daughter because, well... <laughs> My daughter wanted to make books today because she saw me making a book the other day on stream and so she was like, I want to make a book. I was like, all right. So we, we spent a little time and we um, we made, we each made our own little books today. Let's go here. We'll go 100%, group it, then we'll go 60%. I like that. 60, cut. All right, yeah, we'll do this now. I want to do, let's go 50, 40. I want to try to put a glow down the center here. But I want to do it in a way like this. See if we can't hand draw this. Yeah, so we've got an idea. We've got some ideas for that colored, and we're, we're actually, I've got a couple big, uh, uh, commission stuff <laughs> that I'm finishing up right now as soon as I get those done we're gonna start on that yeah we're gonna try it let's check this out dead let's see what this looks like I want to give it a little more of an action shape in here what we're gonna do is go this color we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna send it to the back And see, that's what I do here. We sort of just try things out and we see what we like and what we don't like. It didn't work. It didn't work. Really? What?
Hold on a sec, folks. Let me disconnect it. Happy birthday, Space Cat. There we go. That's better. Yeah, yeah, I've got a couple ideas colored. We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Weird. Y'all, y'all, y'all in their fib. No, I, I, I did. I removed the gif and re-added it real quick. That, that's why it probably looks like it. You're not completely crazy. Don't worry. Not yet. We're getting there. You made me lie. Water bottle made you do it. So I will be streaming tomorrow like normal on Mondays, but I may be a little late or I'm not sure yet because I have to take my daughter to the dentist in the morning. And so we got to go um, do that. So I'm not exactly sure what time I'll be on, but I will be streaming tomorrow during the day because Mondays are my daytime streams. So I usually stream early in through the day, but I will be streaming. So yeah. Yeah, dentist time. Well, you know, hey. Part of keeping them teeth clean. Yeah, I know. She's not too happy about it, but I told her, I was like, oh, I want to redo this one. I want to redo this. I want to make it look more organic. And we're going to do it like this. Here, let's give it some points and we'll move them in. It looked too refined to me, for my taste. Yeah, but I gotta take her to the dentist in the morning, and then, after I take her to the dentist, I gotta drop her off at school, so. I've got a cleaning coming up as well, yep. I've got a couple dentist, or a couple uh, doctor's appointments coming up soon that I've gotta do, but I've got a cleaning coming as well, yeah. I totally understand, dude. I do appreciate you coming in. Thank you for the host, man. Have a great night, dude. Look forward to seeing you. Always look forward to it. And guys, if you're not following Dead Bird again, please do. He is another creative uh, streamer here. And he is worth that follow. So give him a follow. Please. Yeah, I, I don't... I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I hate the... I'm not a Dennis fan, period. Like, it... I'm just not. Never have been. But it doesn't help when I was a kid. You know, I say these kids nowadays, man, they're lucky. Yeah, we're on Mixer Colored. We still don't have reliable chat that integrates the two, which kind of stinks. Because I saw you at that earlier, Water, but I, I don't have a reliable one yet. And it's sort of... it. There's that Vim chat, but it's like it does work and doesn't work kind of thing. It doesn't work consistently for me. So, I don't know. Really stinks. I'm hoping that... So, for anyone who doesn't know, Restream just picked up DLive, and you can Restream to DLive now. And I'm hoping that they get some sort of a chat integration soon, because their chat feature works. And I'm hoping, I'm, you know, hoping we can plug that in and just kind of go from there, but we'll see. We will see. Yes. So yeah, um, I'm I'm trying to do some restreaming, Ty, because I want to start growing. So for those that don't know, I'm trying to get really going on YouTube again, and I've been enjoying D Live. So I'm I'm restreaming on D Live because I'm really enjoying the community over there. So it's one of those things where I'm starting to restream out a little bit, um, and I want to start you know growing in, in different places. So. Um, yeah, unfortunately, there's not, because new, uh, DLive is still so new, there's not a whole lot of reliable, like, chat integration yet. So, I'm hoping that soon-ish, we get some sort of a solution for that. You know? You hate it. No, 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 no. You know, I feel like... Okay, so I I'll, be, I'll be blunt with you guys. I'll be straight blunt with you. Um... When I started streaming, I started on Twitch. And as soon as I found out that Twitch had that sort of a lockdown where you 
you know, once you're an affiliate or a partner or whatever, that's it. You're done. You can't stream anywhere else. Well, you can't restream. I was like, no, I'm not down with that because as a content creator and as me owning my content, I want to have the option to be able to share it with whoever I want to, right? If I want to, not that I would try, but if I wanted to restream to 20 different streaming services, that's my choice. It's my content, right? I don't like someone going, oh, well, you know, you, you can't restream your content because it's here sort of thing. That just doesn't gel well with me. And um, exactly. So, you know what? I, I told Twitch, nope, have a nice day. I didn't like the community over there anyway. So it was one of those things I was just like, no, I'm done with it. So I just walked away from it. And that's why I really why I came to Mixer and had an absolute blast on Mixer and have no intentions of leaving. Um, I just want to um, be able to grow my platform now that I'm starting to get stable on Mixer, you know, and I've really enjoyed DLive. The community over there has been fantastic, very welcoming, very supportive. So I'm like, you know what, we're just going to keep pushing this. And uh, the only reason I'm doing it to YouTube as well, Ty, is because I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel again. So what's cool is when I restream live streams to YouTube, they actually get cataloged as a video and I can actually throw tags on them. Um, oh, DLive's been fantastic, Ty. No joke, man. It's stable. It's working well. The, it's been a great community. Exactly. So I can do the, like this live stream that's happening right now. We'll catalog as a YouTube video. I can change the thumbnail. Um, I can, um, I can throw in some tags and boom, I've got another YouTube video just like that. You see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to grow like that. Yeah. I, that, that's the thing that bothers me change. It's, it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's, I'm just an old man complaining, but I just feel like that, that's, I feel it's kind of a crummy way to go. And I think a lot of people, you know, they get so excited to be on Twitch and they don't look at that. Uh, and then they realize all of a sudden, like, who was the guy that just left? He was a big Twitch streamer and he just left Twitch and went to DLive. Uh, LT Zonder or something? LT Zonder or something? Thanks, Radio. LT, yeah. You know, because I think he's sort of in the same boat. As a content creator, you don't want someone telling you where you can and can't put your content. That just doesn't work well. You know what I mean? That's just not fair. You should have the right to control your content, not the platform. Happy birthday, Space Cat. That's my opinion. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you, Radio. All right, so now we're going to try to do a glare on the hand. I mean, that's what it is, Change. I mean, you know, you, you're the one putting in the hard work, right? I should be allowed to share it with who I want. And I'm meeting really cool people on DLive. I want to be able to share that content with them, you know? And I just don't think it's fair for a platform to, to lock you down like that. And that's one of the only reasons I'm on Mixer. Because I like that they support people being a content creator and not being someone that's locked into their platform. Okay, we're going to try to add a glare here, so bear with me a second. And for anybody new here, if you guys have any questions for me, who I am, what I do, let me know. I'll be glad to try to help you out. Well, if if I'm correct on this, Ty, correct me if I'm wrong, but were you not on Twitch first? I thought I heard you say once or something. See, that was me. I didn't really like it. And when I read those affiliate rules and the partner rules, I was like, why would anyone sign that? Like, why? Why? You know, like, you're basically locking down your own content. Like, yeah, no thanks. Okay, so before we copy this any further, yeah, you should try out, Ty. You should try out DLive at some point, dude. I think you'd really enjoy it. I had a twitch, but I saw a doctor for that. <laughs> Seven. How are you tonight, Seven? I 
don't like it. I don't like it. I thought I would like the way that looked. I've got to, I've got to rethink this strategy. I was going to try to use the Gaussian Blur, but I'm not feeling it. Maybe it was too much. <laughs> you get two seven. Waiting for pizza. Nice, man. We had uh we did a whole grilled chicken and we did some squash and some uh uh asparagus? Yeah, it was asparagus. It was good. It was yummy. It was good. It was good. We're trying to eat healthier. We're trying. Hey, Big, how you doing, buddy? With hot dogs sprinkled on top? Man, my wife says I gotta eat less hot dogs. No, I'm kidding. Got all excited about becoming partner on Twitch, and after being here, I just roll my eyes at him now. Well, you know, Color, the thing is, it's like, it's different strokes for different folks, right? Like, I've got some friends that are on Twitch, and they love it, and they don't ever intend to go anywhere else. But I, that's not me, you know? I, I, I make art, and I want to share it with as many, many people as I can. You know what I mean? Hey, Fi Guy, how you doing over there? Good to see you. I want to be an artist. I don't want to just make content in one place. I don't know why I've been wanting to draw robots. I swear, it's got to be Anthem, because normally I don't really... I'm doing good. Doing all right. We're, we're just doing some sort of doodling tonight and messing around. I am using Restream IO, Pixels. Yep, Restream IO, and it's working fabulous. And I'm streaming to three platforms right now, man. With no issues. And there's actually a way, guys, uh, with Restream. Let me explain this real quick for anybody that is on Mixer. There is a method to set up your Restream IO that you inject or you, you ingest straight into the Mixer server, essentially, so that you don't break you don't break the FTL of Mixer at all. My FTL and my mixer runs the way it should. Um, and so there's no lag there. And then so YouTube and uh, DLive, they run at whatever spot they're at, you know. I'm using the free version, Pixel. How does um, Restream work? Restream IO, Phoenix? DLive. So DLive is essentially... It's another, it's another streaming platform, Phoenix. And what it is, is the whole platform is built on um, cryptocurrency, right? So as you, viewers and streamers earn the currency as you're streaming. And then you can actually, the currency that you earn actually has value. It has monetary value. It's not just like a spark or something. It actually has money value, right? Well, then you can take that currency and you can tip it to people, you can give it to people, so forth and so on. So think like Bitcoin. It, it's basically a cryptocurrency, right? But it's built on the Lino blockchain, which is a form of crypto cryptocurrency. And so it's, it's, think of it like you're earning crypto, essentially. But the crypto has value that you can actually cash out, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, I use Streamlabs. Bye. Yep. Oh, nice color. Yep, I use Streamlabs. I've been on Streamlabs for over a year now, and I love it. Wouldn't change it. You always get one. I always get, like, maybe one or two. This is where all the kids are. Hey, Ty, there's Ty. He's over there in the D-Lives. You can get partner on there, Phoenix. Um, I Don't quote me here, because I've not looked at him, but I think you have to have 200 followers, and you have to have uh, so much Leno to lock in to the, to the platform, and then you can apply for partnership. Yeah, that's Ty. That's Ty colored. Yep, he is a he is a musician over here on um, Mixer. Great, fantastic guy. Fantastic. Yeah, you can get partner on there. Uh, I'm working toward getting partner. I hope to get partner over here, but you know, hey, take things in strides, right? But I will say, guys, I really enjoy the platform. Really enjoy, really enjoy the platform. Right. I really enjoy the platform. So I would recommend if you, you know, you're interested in restreaming or something, give it a go. 
give it a go and see what you think. It's worth a shot. And restreaming isn't for everybody, right? Like some people, they don't want to get into multiple chat. They don't want to get into multiple moderation. I get it. You know, I'm not trying to drag anybody over there. But if you're something you want to look into and you have any questions, let me know. Okay, good enough. <clears throat> Vice versa, right. Seventh over there. Oh, look at that. Look at these people. Y'all better follow me over there. You goons. <laughs> I will say that it's about DLive, guys. And I'm not just saying it. Like, it's been a very stable platform and it's been really fun. So, there's water bottle. As soon as you figure out how to. So, there should be a follow button. At the top. Above me. You're a streamer, Ty. Thank you. I'll think about it. Look, don't make me bring up the octopus, Seven. I'll do it. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to this guy. Thank you for the lemon water bottle. I appreciate that. Right, the mixer... Right, right, right. Yep, yep. Oh, are you trying to hit it? Oh, look at them lemons. And so I did a custom uh, animation for my lemons, for my um, ice creams, and um, I did it for my ninja guineas as well. But I have never had a ninja guinea given to me. So for anyone that doesn't know, the lemons are one, you know, the ice creams are ten. The diamonds are a hundred, and the ninjaginis are a thousand. So a thousand is quite a bit of currency, right? I was borrowed. Thank you for the follow, Seven. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys are having fun. Sorry, it sort of turned into a talking stream, but... I think it normally does here. I don't know what that is anymore. I, I think I need to label my stuff web show from now on. I'm doing a terrible job at art. What does it use for alert? So there is a, there, isn't that true, Ty? Like you get to the point where you're just talking all the time. I mean, I enjoy it. It's just different, right? Um, they use a service. I'll send you the info, um, Seven. It's it's called uh, Tidy, Tidy Labs. It's actually created. It's a lot like um, the Restream service. And um, it's created by one of the developers or one of the programmers that actually works at DLive. You know what I mean? It works great. Works really, really great. Hey, Schizophrenic Pumpkin. Thank you for that, host. I appreciate that. Thank you, Colored. I appreciate y'all. I really do. It means a lot to me. I'm glad that I, I can entertain you folks. I really am. Thank you for the Ninja Gini. A Ninja Gini? Holy shadow. Thank you, dude. Wow, that, that is my first. So for anyone that doesn't know... That's a thousand, Lino. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Shadow. I really appreciate that. So you see my little ninja guinea? I made that little notification. It's got Space Cat riding in a Lamborghini. Did y'all see it? And he's bouncing up and down? Thank you, Shadow. That is much appreciated, man. Wow. That's a big deal. Drop the TV at the end, loser. <laughs> Seven's over there. Look, it doesn't matter where Seven goes. His manner just go right out the window, right? Really appreciate you guys over there on DLive, by the way. No joke. I really do. I, I think that um, I would love to see some more streamers here go take a look at it and give it a chance. She is schizophrenic. Is, yes. We can't get rid of Water Bottle. I refuse to get rid of Water Bottle. Water Bottle's good. I need to do a, uh, I need to do like something like Seven has for Water Bottle when she comes on the stream, but I need to do something nice for Water Bottle. 
I've got an idea. We're going to work on that. It really is, Candace. So, guys, after we draw whatever this robot thing is, or supposed to be, we're going to go back to the book that we've been working on. Yours is nice. No, yours is seven. I just I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your idea there because I wanna I wanna do something for water bottle too. Okay. Do you do you Ty? Oh my God! Wow, really? <laughs> Candace, smack him. That ain't nice. Go smack that man. Picking on that water bottle. I want to do something here. Uh, so for anyone new here, if there is anyone new here, um, feel free to ask questions if you have any about what programs I'm using or the 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 style that I'm doing. Uh, we welcome questions here. You guys are welcome to get involved in the in the chat. Remember, no problem. You are awesome. Thank you, Candace. Ah, I know, colored. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. We're working on it. Little little time. Little little time. See that? I got your back, water bottle. Meanies. Yeah, see, that's what I think I want to do. I want to do more of like a... Me too. Yeah, that's right, big. We'll get her. So that's one of the only negative parts that I that I have with the DLive right now is getting that chat integrated, guys. Um, and I'm working on trying to find a good solution for that. So I do apologize. Um, so what I've done is I sort of have two windows open. I have two windows open so I can read the chat. That's one of the only, only confusing parts right now. Space Cat Chase. Eh, <laughs> Chase. I think Space Cat feels neglected. I haven't done any animations for him in a while. In a couple weeks. Poor thing. I could. Would that help, guys, if I just put the... Just put the mixer chat on the stream so at least the D-Live people could see what's being said, or... Okay. I'll look into it before the next stream. I'll look into it in the morning. Right, I know. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. I'm a bad person. <laughs> okay, I will, um, tomorrow, I will, um, I'll see what I can do about that. You need a narrator. So, the only thing with narrators, are you talking about the text-to-speech? Is that what you're saying, schizophrenic? Or are you saying like an actual... Lino, it's a crypto. Ty, yes. If you have... If, so, if you guys have any more questions about uh, the Lino stuff over there, there are some people in chat like Shadow and and I know Radio there and, and Color. They could probably answer some more of those questions for you guys. More in depth than I can. I'm still rel relatively new to the entire D-Live. I've only been there about a week and a half. But so far, I'm having a great time with it. Chotes platform logo when users speak. Right, Pixels. Okay. 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 I got gotcha. you. Telling you, we're going to have to turn this thing into a web show. I thought you were playing games, Pixels. What are you doing? Are you being a bad dad? Are you ignoring the family, Pixels? You guys would have been proud of me yesterday. 
my wife drug me out of the house. But I, I didn't go without a fight. Like, I really didn't want to go. At first, I ended up having a really good time, but... I was like, you wait, you want me to go outside? Like, outside, outside? Like, but my computer's here. Like, why do I want to... What do I want to go outside for? You know? Oh, nice, Pixels! Okay, yeah. See, that's what I was going to say, Ty. If you have any questions, they're definitely much more suited to answer those than me right now. Like, I can give you some of the relative information, but I'm still relatively new to the whole thing. Is the fire coming out of his hand too much? I think it is. I like it out of the feet. Okay. What kind of head do we want this thing to have, y'all? And we're going to do some more. Do we want it to be like a roundish style head? Square style head? Like, what do we want to see out of this? Do we want like... We haven't even started details or textures or anything yet. I'm thinking like... Yes. Don't forget to click your treasure chest, guys. That's how you get those Lino's. You earn them. Yeah. I think we're going to move this one up. It's going to give me a whole lot more space at the bottom of this image to do this. And we'll do some sort of a glow here for sure. <clears throat> Fish head. Turn into a robot Aquaman. You know we could. Hold on, schizophrenic. What if we do like... What was the movie Mastermind? Remember the fish inside of the bowl on top of the robot? We could totally do that. We could do a little fish, like in a bowl. You get rewarded. Right, right. Okay, yeah. One to five. Okay, there it is. A five is super rare. I've never gotten five. I did get four once. Shadow. But I've never gotten five. I heard somebody say you could get up to five. Let's do it. Never gotten it. Yep. Okay. I was going to say, I know it's got to be rare. Let's do it. We're going to do the fish bet or the fish bowl head. Are you cool with that? I like it. Let's do it. Like that movie Mastermind. A water bottle head with a goldfish inside it. How would I? You know. Give me a minute. My brain can do it. I just got to visualize the shapes and make it happen. Okay. <clears throat> you know, Ty, that's funny you say that over there. I really like the way d Live looks. Uh, oh, and if you guys, if you have your own, check this out, Ty. If you go to your own page, they've integrated like a Discord into your page where users can chat and stuff. And you can chat with them. It's the neatest thing I've ever seen. Like each person's channel has its own. That's what I was just saying. Yeah, dude. It's cool. I mean, it, it's got a super slick interface. They're, they're really doing some stuff, man. They really are. They're worth a look. I will say that. For anyone that is at all curious. All right, water bottle. Thank you so much for being here. Go have a good night. You don't have to worry about me. I'll, I'll, I'll make it. I'll make Seven do some modding stuff. Put Seven to work. Seven, wake up. Absolutely, Ty. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. That innovation like that is is key, right? Like, it, as, a, it, as a streamer, that's what I was... I, you know, it's funny you say that, Ty. I was talking to somebody about that the other day. And I said that. I said everyone should be excited about something like DLive because they've got a clean interface and innovation makes it better for all of us. Whether you're on Twitch, Mixer, you should support streamers no matter what, no matter where they stream, right? Because we're all looking to do the same thing. You know what I mean? So the innovation is great because it's going to make it better for everybody. You know? We all win.
Yeah. Good night, Water Bottle. Have a great one. The more platforms succeed, the better it is for the streamer and the viewers. 100% correct. Right. And that's exactly how I feel, Ty. Like, I feel like that's exactly how I feel. Yep. Which is why I want to take advantage of restreaming. And again, as an artist, I want my art to be shared with as many people as possible. Be myself. Well, that will probably do it, schizophrenic. I'm still an affiliate over there. I just don't use it. Yep. Yep, I am still an affiliate over there. I don't use it. I don't use it at all. I think I want to do the, let's do it. Let's do it. This will be fun. I don't want to do it like that. Let's do it like this. Oh, you can earn a hundred Lino in a day. You're lucky with chess rolls. It adds up fast. See, that's what I did the other day. I was, um, I was out and about and I was watching some streams and I was just clicking away at the chest, not even really paying attention to it. And it was just building right up. Yeah, that's the one thing, Ty. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad, dude. Once you do it a little bit, you'll be right at home. It's not. It's really not. I would agree 100% radio. Not that bad. But you also have to remember, radio, we're coming from Mixer. We have like, I don't want to say there's no delay whatsoever, but it is pretty much non-existent. Like, it's, it's almost nothing. Right. When I was using another vector software, and it took me a while to intercept two paths on hands. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Radio. Yeah. It's like, you know. That's what I wanted. Okay. Now we're going to turn this back on in 30%. <clears throat> FTL. Yeah, I'm with you, Shadow. Like, I've had, I've had no problem with it. Like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I think a lot of people at first are a little like, oh, well, yeah, because it's not what they're used to, but. All right, so I got to do something real quick. We want to make this sort of mounted in a way. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that. That turned out pretty cool. That's pretty much what I was looking for. <clears throat> oh, well, there you go, colored. It's great. Oh, cool, Aqua. Nice. I like it. Easy to use website. Cool things, no matter. Right? Yeah. The people have been really nice, bud. That's why I was saying I think people will like it.
paste in there. There we go. Nice. Now it looks like glass. Yay. <clears throat> I don't want to brag about it. Three Linos, baby. Pencil 2D is awesome for rough animation aquas. I use it all the time and absolutely love it. Fantastic. You can you can you can build out something so fast in pencil 2D. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna do some water. We're gonna do the little fishbowl head thing. Why not? I think it's a fun idea. Uh, uh, radioactive? That is Gravit, buddy. Right here. That's going to be Gravit Designer. Uh, go search this. The only reason that I like Gravit over something like Inkscape, right, is because I think it has a better interface. I think it's cleaner. Um, it will do some drawings one night with Gravit Radio. That way you can sort of see how that works. And you can take a look at the, the, um, just the way that software works. For sure. I still can't believe I got a Ninja Gini. Wow. Be cool. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to. Yes, it does, Aquas. Yes. Yep, you can do SVG formats. Yep. Really good piece of software. I would recommend checking out Gravit. Uh, they do have a paid variation of the software. I do not use the paid variation, but they have it. Um, the reason I don't use it is because I personally, um, I don't want to use the paid variation because I like being able to, um, I really like being able to, um, show you guys the free features, right? And I feel like if I have the paid version of it, I may use features you don't have access to, you know what I'm saying? And I don't wanna do that. So for me, it's really about having the same version that you guys do. Um, you know, I could, they offered me the paid version uh, because I've done so many like uh, videos with them and everything, but I, I just feel like it's better. Oh, LVX, sorry, we're restreaming. We're on DLive and Mixer, I apologize. Um, we don't have a really good solution for the integrated chat yet. We're working on that. But I'm restreaming. I do apologize. Sorry. that I know that can be confusing. I probably need to throw that in the freaking... It's confusing everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're trying to work on a good chat solution. So that you guys can see what's what. I'm just a crazy man. Don't mind me, y'all. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, nice. I'm waiting for the new version of Blender with the updated grease pencil. I know you can get the beta right now, but I really want to see the uh, the updated one come out full release. I know it's supposed to be soon. I thought it was supposed to be at, like, Blender when they did their big convention and everything, but I haven't seen it yet. There's lots of mine. Yep. We're crazy. Come on in. Have a seat. Ah. <laughs> uh. Trying to uh, expand a little bit, you know, LV? Like, I, I uh, want to be able to share what I do with as many people as possible. So, we're trying to branch out and do some growth. And I really enjoy DLive. And so, want to promote it and see if other people are interested, you know? Right. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So we've got this fishbowl head looking thing. Let's do a fish, like an angry looking fish inside of this bowl. So what we'll do is we'll group all of this, bring it to the front. Now watch this. 
We're going to just hand draw an angry looking fish. I don't even know. We're just going to draw something and then we'll come back and we'll sort of manipulate points and we'll play with it. We may or may not nail this first try. Okay. Oh, very nice. Piranha colored. I think it's going to be something. It's going to look sort of like a piranha. We were. In a way. I'll show you. I want to do some sort of like an alien looking like a mean. Almost like a bird sort of fish hybrid in a way. With some big nasty teeth. Make it look like some sort of an angry fish. With a big eye. So what I'm doing is essentially just working away, building shapes, trying to see what comes to light, see what I like, what I don't like. Hope everyone's doing well. Feeling old? Nah. Don't feel old. <laughs> 24. I remember being 24. Alright, here we go. And it's yellow is not going to be the, the permanent color. You're feeling old. Oh, I hear you. I know what you mean. It's... Maybe? To the back? Okay, I like that. Let's do a sort of, let's inverse this. I like that better, more like this. But the only point we gotta deal with is here. Let's bring it down like this. And then we'll do something with these teeth. And guys, this is totally just random fish character, right? Looks more like a bird than a fish right now, but that's kind of the goal. We're gonna do sort of a hybrid animal. So bear with me. Here we go. Let's turn it. We'll bring it behind there a bit more. See that? It's not designer, but my child. Yeah, so the thing is, the thing that's cool about that one, Radio, is that it's, you know, you can do some really neat stuff with it um and it and i often share like my vector files that i created with gravit so you can actually open them in gravit as the gravit file and you can play with them you know what i mean i've got some in my discord i can throw more in there so you can actually open the gravit file and you could break apart my drawings All right, let's do some teeth in this thing. We'll do a bunch of gnarly looking teeth. That makes you awesome, Jerry. I don't even draw and I think that's awesome. <laughs> well, you know, hey, so I live on I live on a pretty simple principle here. You know, I feel like art should be shared by everyone. And so my goal as a streamer and as an artist is to help people learn. That is what I want to do. And and I try to help people, you know? And if I can teach somebody, inspire somebody, if I can help somebody 
figure out something they may not understand because i'm gonna be real with you and anybody that does art can probably attest to this getting started with art is it can be a very daunting thing especially digital because there's a lot of things to learn about you know dpi and and just you know different formats and how to do transparency and you know how do we how to work with layers and i mean there's just a lot to it you know and sometimes having somebody to say hey try this hey do this it can really help break down that sort of system a little bit so it's not so convoluted you know what i mean and so that's why i always offer to people if i can help you in any way let me know if i can't help you i'll try to help you find the answer Think seven could do it? Could what? Each people? We all know how seven teaching goes. I think seven could, honestly. Seven is very, very good at what he does. He really is. Whether he wants to hear that or not, he really is. <clears throat> this is like some sort of a dog slash I don't even know what we would call it at this point like a dog catfish thing right looking super cool though I'm liking it You know, the thing with Vector is you, you sort of got to think outside the box a bit because it's, it's one of those forms where you're, you're sort of like the way, the way in which you make art is a little bit different, right? Because it's, it's the same principles as digital painting and whatnot. You're, you're laying down layers, you're laying down, you know, patterns and stuff, but it's more about taking shape. We've called it before like sculpting because that's really more what vector is it's more like taking shapes and creating art rather than hand painting or hand creating you know what i mean so it's We're going to finish this shape. We sh totally should have done that. But then we could, yeah, like this. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, see? That's perfect. You're getting it? You just keep making those shapes out? And I mean, yes, exactly. And see, you're doing what I want to do, Radio. I was actually talking about that. I want to find some real pictures and vectorize them, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really want to take them and see what I can do with them. And what I would, what would they look like if I were to turn them into vector? Do you know what I mean? That's something that I want to start doing. Yeah, super work. Yep, you'll get it. Keep going. The lights in the sky are going to be interesting. You're going to have to do like an opacity, like a... That'll be cool, though. Yeah, we're going to work on that, Ty. I've got to get a couple things off my plate first. I've got a couple uh, projects i got to get done. Once I get those done, i got some plans. i got some stuff I want to... Are you talking about the city? The cityscape with the lights in the sky colored? Yeah, beautiful. 
because you were here the other day when I was doing this radio. I haven't done anything else on it yet. For those that don't know, I'm trying to do more like scene studies and stuff. And so I'm getting into doing more scene sort of art. And so we made this scene study here. And now I'm playing around with a little bit different one here. Just kind of, and I'm nowhere near done with this yet. I've got to add more details. I want to get the coloring right. But I'm trying to play around with making scenes and making like things other than just characters. Even though I love doing characters. But, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, Radio. You're welcome. You got it. You got it. Just keep just keep doing it. And um, if you, if I have any Gravit files, any of my Gravit drawings, Radio, that um, that I've made... If you want me to share them with you, like, if you want to break the file, because I know you wanted to do, like, some characters and stuff. So, like, some of these, I, I'd be glad to export these out. And, uh, you know, if you wanted to, like, tear them apart and break them down, the actual Gravit file. Because sometimes that's the best way to learn is almost reverse engineer it. <clears throat> I use Storyboarder. Yeah, I've heard of Storyboarder. Yep, yep, yep. I've heard of Storyboarder, yep. That's a pretty good piece of software. Free. Okay, we're going to go like that now. We're going to give him a little tail fin. I'm just glad to be able to meet people who like doing creative stuff and who enjoy watching creative stuff. That is what, that is what uh, I enjoy. You know what I mean? Absolutely, radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Like, I, I want to do the more scene stuff too. So I'm down. I'm totally down with you on that. I know exactly what you're saying. I did try Natron. I actually made a couple things. Aquas, I love it. I'm going to be using that more and more and more. Are you messing around with it at all, or are you... The way it works is a little different, for sure. But it's not terrible. Like, you just have to understand, like, the once you get a grasp on the node-based system, it's not bad at all. So here's our little whatever this thing is, right? Whatever this fish is, is what's going to be in this bowl. So now what we're going to do, check this out. You're going to wait? Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. It, it's a lot to learn, Aquas. It really is. Hey, colored. Yeah, colored's over there. Yep. So, LV, check it out. I've been doing more YouTube vids. In fact, LV, what I'm doing right now is I'm restreaming to YouTube. So, all of my live streams are becoming YouTube videos as well. But I've actually uploaded three or four separate YouTube videos in the last couple days. And they are um, time lapses. That I'm calling them speed art. So, they're like 10-minute drawings, pictures, or videos that show you an entire drawing concise in about a 10-minute... Yeah, yep. And so all my live streams are going to be up there. I'm making videos on there. Yeah, I'm definitely getting back into YouTube. We, I've got a lot planned this year, guys. Like, I really want to grow as an artist and as a as a content creator. I want to get going on YouTube. I really want to get going on DLive. I really want to try to have a healthy, positive impact on people and their work and stuff, you know? So we're definitely... I've got some big goals this year. Um, I'm hoping that... I can uh, maintain. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? I just had an idea. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. it. It's a little challenging here and there because you're sort of... You know, you're trying to figure out like what's the balance and how to how to keep everything afloat, but it, it's it's manageable. I just have to, you know, um, remember to take a little time to myself here and there, which is 
minimal, but you know, I'm okay with that because I, I have a goal. I have a vision of where I want to be. And I, that's what I'm working toward is where I want to get to. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. Colored. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, there, there's a lot of uh, creative streamers and music streamers and stuff on Mixer and, um, just like there are on, I mean, they're on every platform, Twitch, Mixer, um, you know, you just have to, you got to find the right people. I mean, you know, there's, there's good people everywhere. I will say that. I have a lot of friends who stream creative on Twitch. They're fantastic at what they do. They're great content creators. Um, you know, so I mean, you're going to find really good creative people no matter where you go. Caffeine I've not really done a lot of. Not done a lot there. But yeah, thanks LB. Thanks for checking in. But yeah, we're going to find that balance, man. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're working on it. Day at a time. All you can do, right? Day at a time, you figure it out. All right, let's do some more detail on the um, the robot himself. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. I want to create some seams. Can't believe I got to get up in the morning and take her to the dentist. My Monday mornings are usually pretty lazy because I stay up late and stream. And then I just kind of roll out of bed when I'm ready to, and then I stream again. You know what I mean? So it's like the fact of knowing I can't just do that in the morning. I've actually got to get up and take her to the dentist. Yeah, I get. They're like my lazy mornings. If the wife goes to work, daughter goes to school, and I'm home alone and stream. It's like my fun day. Me too, Ty, because, you know, it's like, I think it's one of those things, it's, it, it's an area that people, you know, are beginning to find and enjoy. And it's one of those things, I think a lot of people don't even realize there's creative people on these platforms. In fact, I've seen a lot of people, they'll come on and they'll be like, wait, there's people that make art on here? And it's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, we're here. There's people doing traditional, there's people doing digital, there's people doing all kinds of stuff. I see people doing After Effects streams. I see people doing animation streams. I mean, it's, you know, I think it's awesome. Because it's taking something that was meant, well, not meant for, but it's taking something that was originally designed for, like, gaming and whatnot, and it's really growing it into something really cool, you know? Something that can have more purpose than just one use. And I think that is so cool. And I'm glad to see it, personally. I want to go darker, but I don't want to go... I like it right there. That, that's perfect. Let's make some, like, little screw holes in here. Yeah. I see it all the time. Wait, where's the music? Yeah. You know, and the thing is, is, is I'll be honest. I mean, you know, growth can be different when you're creative and stuff when whatnot because i mean you know we're not you know it, it, it's it's a little different but you know you just got to be happy with where you're at and what you're doing as long as you're happy where you're at and what you're doing you can't you know right well me too me too i actually get people that come in ty and they're like you're not playing a game and it's like nope <laughs> Oh, very cool, Aquas. Yeah. Yeah, I try, Ty. It's uh, it all depends on how receptive people are. I always find it funny when um people on Mixer that are doing creative, they tend to get, you know, really. I, I can see that, Ty. I can see that. I see that all the time. Make sure I watch a lot of non-game streams. Right, I know. You know, it's like when I'm at work, I watch a lot of streams when I'm at work, you know? And um, I love it when I find new artists that are streaming because I love being able to support people that are making art, whether it be D Live, Mixer, whatever. I like I like supporting those folks and being able to go in there and just kind of give them some incentive to keep going. You know what I mean? Give them that push to be like, hey, this is awesome. You're doing a good job, you know? 
Oh, I get it all the time, LV. It'd be like, so when are you going to be done drawing and play a game? And it's like, um... <laughs> I mean, Ty, how you've been following me a while, man. How many times have you seen me play a game on here? I think I've, I've streamed a game maybe twice on Mixer? I don't do a whole lot of game streams. Once in a while, I'll let my hair down and get a little crazy, but yeah. I really get more relaxation out of the art than I do playing games anymore, you know? If that sounds weird, I don't know, but... That was the reason I first followed you, Candace. I kept thinking, we got to keep him from leaving. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. It worked. <clears throat> I had a guy come in my chat and tell me their favorite games. Now, or I, now, I've never had anyone say it direct like that, color, but I've had people get a little like, this is meant for gaming. And it's sort of like, you try to you try to help educate them on it, right? That streaming isn't just about games. It can be anything, you know? I have nothing against people who play games. In fact, some of my biggest friends on Mixer, that's all they do is play games, you know? And that's cool. I'm, I'm totally about that. But there are other reasons, you know? You try to help educate people. <laughs> I knew a game when I first and can do it right. Like, and, yeah, absolutely, you know? I will say this. For anyone that is a creative streamer, now, this is my opinion, okay? But I feel like, as a creative streamer, you really put yourself out there. You know what I mean? Like, you really put yourself out there because it's sort of like writing a book or something, right? You're you're taking your, your vulnerabilities and your insecurities and you're putting them right on the screen for people instead of, you know, um, just playing a game or something. It's, it's It can be a very daunting thing. And there's times where it's stressful because you feel like, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, it can be embarrassing or something like, but I've learned to grow from that and realize it's okay, you know? It is, Deja. And I've seen some get discouraged and leave. I've seen some. And it's always sad. I really try to promote art and music. And I learn a lot from, like, you guys. When I... Some of the people you follow. And I go in and I check them out. And I'm always trying to, like, pay attention to new streamers. And artists. Because I really like supporting them. Probably because you don't like my voice. Whereas if I'm a gamer, I can pass it off on the game. 100%, Ty. 100%. That's exactly what I'm talking about, man. It's just like you, you, uh, you know, you really put yourself out there and it's, you know, for ridicule because somebody can come in and say, oh, that's the, that's the dumbest looking fish I've ever seen. Okay. You know, Hey, you feel that way. That's cool. But you know, you, um, you know, right. Yeah. That's cool. Aquas. That's cool. All right. So let's do this. We're going to do a neat sort of effect on the back. Hey, I'm just honored people enjoy watching me. I'll be honest. Like, I've said this before, and it is the truth. I had no real... I had no real way to know how what I do was going to be perceived. Like, I, I... I didn't know. You know, I didn't know if people were going to like it, if people were going to hate it, you know? So, it was one of those... It was like, well, you know what? There's no harm in trying, right? I try. If if I don't do well at it, I don't do well. You know, and, and it, it just is what it is. <clears throat> but I'm thankful people enjoy what I do. I do, yes, Aquas. I've used Synfig before. In fact, my follow host and raid animations were all made with Synfig. Yep. Now, I didn't draw the vector shapes in Synfig. What I did was I, um... I created the art in Affinity and then I dragged it over to Synfig and animated it there. Because I know you can draw in Synfig. The problem I have is I'm a little more comfortable with the tools and affinity than I am with the ones in Synfig, you know? Do what I want and delete this comment. Yeah, I hear you colored. It's very similar. Very similar, Aqua. It's 
So the big difference with Synfig is you have to turn on the anim. So it has two states, non-animating and animating. You don't just add keyframes. So what, what you do, but the way you do it is you have to activate the animation timeline. You do your animating, and when you want to do more drawing, you turn off the activation, the animation timeline. So you have to have it on when you're moving things around because here's what happens. If you forget that it's on and you start drawing things or moving things, it's going to modify the shapes, right? You can import from Inkscape this Synfig. Yes, absolutely you can. Yep. Because what I did was I imported directly from Affinity Designer right into, uh, right into Synfig. And then I modified the... Uh, I just animated the art outright in Synfig. What I did. Let's try this one. I like the way this one looks better. Got a better sort of mass to it. So, I like Linux. The problem I have, my biggest issue with Linux is <clears throat> when it comes to, because I've worked in IT for over 20 years, Aquas, right? Um, the problem with Linux is when it comes to your, when it comes to like where I work, Linux is not a sustainable thing because when you work on a really large environment like I do and your uptime is required for medical purposes, you have to have support, meaning if we have like a Windows based workstation, it has to have some sort of support system. And when you look at a lot of like certain really big corporate vendors, they use Windows, right? Yes, designer has assets, radioactive. Yes. Yep, you can uh, look at these. So, like, here's um, like right here. I can just drag these over, they're vector, and I can use them and then change the colors and everything, right? tons of assets like these are all pre-built assets so if you wanted to do like ui design and stuff like that you could do it all right in here yep and then what you can do is what i just did what you saw me do here was i dropped in a um a half tone sort of uh alpha mask and then what i did was i created this effect right here sort of this torn painted paper looking effect to sort of create that almost pop sort of look to it, right? Yeah, I got a lot of tools up my sleeves. You hang around long enough, you'll pick them up. <laughs> I'm going to show you a feature that will really get you. We're going on a feature creep here for a second, guys. So watch this. This is super awesome. If you understand anything about revisions with files, you're going to love this. So there's a feature in Affinity Design Designer called Snapshots. And if you're used to IT, you'll understand where I'm going with the word snapshots, right? Snapshots are basically multiple revisions within the same file. So let me explain. Let's say we go to Snapshot down here and we create a revision and we call this version one so we'll just say v1 this is the first revision of this file well let's say we copy this over we make it you know this color whatever we come in we add some circles i'm just doing very quick examples to give you guys a to prove a point here okay well let's go in and save this as v2 right well let's go a step further let's copy this again and we'll come in and we'll add a, a pink square for just the heck of it. All right. We're going to call this V3. Now, what do you think is going to happen when I jump between these revisions? Because where I'm going with this is Affinity has a feature that allows you to save multiple revisions of the same file within one file. So instead of having to have cat version 1 PSD, cat version 2 PSD, cat version 3 PSD, the snapshots are saved within the application. But let's say I wanted to go back to version one right now. Instead of undo, 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 you would just choose version one and load it. 
and we're back to version one. There we are, right? Well, I can jump right back to version three or I can jump right back to version two. So what it does is it saves whatever state the image is in at that exact moment to a revision, if you will. And you can, you can add as many snapshots as you want and jump back and forth. So where this is useful is let's say you have your drawing done and you like where it is. Well, you save that as version one and that's always your version one of that file. So even if you go in and spend two months making changes to it and you save it as another version, you can jump back to version one, which will be that original file and it will always be that original file. That's really cool if you understand how revisions work. That's a super, super useful feature. And then of course you can delete the snapshots, you know, you can get rid of it all. So very handy feature if you're into files and understanding how multiple revisions can be affected. Because when you get into multiple, like if, if you're working with clients, you may have version one, version two, you may have 50 versions, right? So very, very useful. I love that feature. I use it all the time when I'm doing like client work because it's really easy to sort of bounce back like that. I'm glad to see you doing some vector stuff, Radio. I really am. Mm hmm. Yeah, you gotta. When you're printing stuff, you really got to pay attention to those, what you're doing. Oh, yeah, dude, of course. I'm glad I can, uh, you know, it's funny because I've had people send me really cool pictures that they made. And I'm always like, that is awesome. I love to see what people come up with. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty happy with our fish alien robot thing. It was a random drawing. I like it. It's different. The one thing I would like to do is add a glow effect. You know what? We're going to try it. Give me a second. Oh, let me show you something really cool. Check this out, Radio, and everybody else is watching. This is a neat feature about Affinity Designer, okay? Um, most people, when they use the pencil tool, they use it as a pencil tool. So they come in and they draw lines, right? And this is inherently a vector shape. You can modify the points. You can stretch them, you can add points, right? They use it as a legitimate pencil tool. I don't do that. What I do is I choose the pencil tool, I turn off the stroke and I keep on the fill. And then what I do is I create custom vector shapes that follow the pencil. Now, why I like this is while you can achieve this with the pen, I feel like the pencil is more fluid and it's more organic. Right? And it gets you to where you want to be a little quicker. So where that's really useful is like, watch this. Let's say I wanted to put a purple glow on the front of his suit here. We could do something like this, create a quick shape, give it a 20% fill, and paste it in on the armor there. And see how it has a more organic flow to it? Now that's not to say you can't do that with a pen tool, because you can. But I just feel like the pencil tool gets there quicker. My opinion but I really appreciate that about that tool. I think it's, it's just super for that. Again, that's just a feature I've learned over time that I really, really appreciate. See, I'm the same way. People always come in and they're like, wait, you draw with a mouse and keyboard? Yep. And they get so confused by that and it's like, it works for me. You know, I... I 
I think they're so used to seeing artists draw everything with a, like a Wacom tablet or a drawing tablet, which is awesome. It's just, I prefer to use a mouse keyboard. And why I like this tool is because this allows me to get some extremely organic shapes in a very, very, very quick manner, right? Because it literally goes like this. It follows your stroke out. Right. Yep. Yep. And see, people ask that too. And here's the big thing for me. I think we were talking about this the other day, radio. We might have been. I don't remember. At work, I have a laptop next to me, right? And so what's really cool about it is I can draw on my mouse and keyboard on my laptop right there. And I don't have to draw, bring in a drawing tablet, right? Because I can't really just drag a drawing tablet into work. That's more obvious. I'd be sitting at my desk like this, you know? But with my laptop, I've got my mouse and keyboard. I can just sit there and draw inconspicuously. And it doesn't look like I'm, you know, doing drawing like that. So I really appreciate that. Rough sketch to get or finalizing the inkscape. See, I don't sketch and I'm trying to sketch more aquas. I, I am, I am. So I bought an iPad Pro, right? And I'm learning to sketch a bit more. Um, I'm, I'm treating it as a learning tool to sketch more. Um, and I'm doing it. I'm sketching about, like I said, I'm sketching about like about 30 minutes a day. I'm just doing honest sketches because I'm really trying to get back into sketching. So okay. we're going to do another one here and we're going to sort of wrap it here like this. Yeah. All right. What was that? Dono? Ty, dude, thank you for the dono, man. Not expected, but I do appreciate that, good sir. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. You're a good guy. Uh, we're not going to do the glare on the glass. We'll just do it on the body. Thanks, Ty, man. You know I don't expect it, but I do appreciate it when it does come in, man. Thank you, Phoenix. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but thank you. I'm glad my alerts are working. I felt so bad, Ty. During my birthday stream, uh, Beck has donated to me, but my alerts weren't working. So I didn't even see it, and I totally missed it. And I had to go back and thank him after the stream when I actually realized it came through. I felt terrible. Thank you, Ty. Thank you for the dono. I feel like I want to do something different with what's inside the head. I feel like we should do like maybe a little water alien or something. I don't know. I've got to let my brain rest on that. I think that's what we'll do. I've got some thoughts, but I gotta think about it. Yeah. I think I... Maybe the color's too dark? Is that what's bothering me? Something about it is bothering me, and I think maybe it's the, the water is too dark. Let's go with a... Let's go with a 50% fill. Okay, that's better. And let's take this one to 50%. Oh, that's better already. I think it's the water was too freaking dark for me. Alright, so let's go like that. And I want to do this. Let's lock these two. But then we can modify this fish. I want to do something. Watch this. I want to modify it and make it look like it goes down into the... Watch, I'll show you. I got an idea. Where is it? This is all going to get grouped together with this. Yep. So then this is going to get locked. 
lock this, and lock the back. Nice. So now we can select the fish freely. All right, cool. Yeah, go ahead, Aqua. That's fine. I want to experiment and see if we drag this down in here. You'll get what I'm doing here real quick. Maybe make it look like it's a net coming out of the suit. That makes sense. I mean, I know it need, we need to go behind the suit. I, I get all that. I'm just trying to... I don't know. Maybe it's just the... Maybe I want something different. I don't know. I got to think about it. I got to think about it. Mm-hmm. In a similar way, yep. Right on. I use GIMP. I use GIMP for a couple different things. Every now and then I'll fire up old GIMP. Once in a while. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Let me check something real quick, folks. Give me one second. One second, one second. Who is trying to look and see? Oh, that guy is. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. So I'm going to have to get going soon-ish because I do have to get up in the morning and take my daughter to the dentist. So I, I can't be on too, too much longer before you think escape. Nice, nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to drop a host on 7. I see old 7 streaming over there. I think I'm going to go drop a host on 7 here in a minute. Um, but before I do that, I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone for coming out tonight. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the host. Thank you for all the... Thank you for the dono tie. Thank you for the Ninjagini shadow. That was super generous of you. Thank everyone over on DLive for the lemons, for the ice cream. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, but I do got to get going. I would normally stream later than this, but unfortunately, I have to take my daughter to the dentist in the morning. So I can't be up too late. Uh, I do apologize. But I will be streaming tomorrow for those that want to check me out. I do stream during the day. Um, so anyways, thanks again. We're going to drop a host on 7. For everybody on DLive, thank you for being here. Have a great night. And over there on YouTube, have a great night as well. Bye, everybody. Be safe. Be smart. I'll catch you guys later.